Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Preparing the Eclipse Project for the MVC Database Example. In this video, we'll review the necessary components of this project. We'll create the framework, packages, and folders for the project, and we'll learn how to add a database driver to an Eclipse project. So here we are in Eclipse, ready to create our first project with a database connectivity. To start, click on File, New, we'll select Dynamic Web Project. Here's the first of several forms that we need to fill out carefully. Let's call this one Book D DB for Database Example. I'll check the project location. I see it's going where I'd like to in my Workspace folder. The target runtime is Apache Tomcat version 7 using Dynamic Web Module 3.0. Configuration looks okay. EAR membership is okay, nothing to change there, and working sets are okay. Click on Next. Here we see that the source folder for our Java classes is under SRC folder. We'll leave that as is. The context root is in our example file, Web Content. I'm not going to bother with a Generate Web XML deployment descriptor, so I'll leave that blank. Now I'll click Finish we see that a project has been created for us. First, I need to review what we're going to make. We're going to include a couple packages. The packages need to hold servlets. We'll put that in a package called controllers and some model classes. And we'll put that in a package called model. In addition, we need to include the database driver. Finally, in this video, we'll go ahead and create an index.jsp file that will just serve as an entry point with a quick link to get us started connecting to the database. First, let's create our packages. Under Java Resources, expand the Java Resources folder. Let's right click on SRC, select New Package. Let's call this one Controllers. This is where we will put our servlets when we create them in later videos. Right click once again on SRC, hit New, one more package. Let's call this Model for the M in MVC design pattern. This is where we're going to create and store any of our model classes, such as the book class for this example. Next, let's go ahead and make an index file so this project will start when we run it. Right click on web content, click new, JSP file. Let's call this index.jsp. The index.jsp is not going to do too much. Let's add a title. Let's call it the Amazing Book Database Demonstration. I'm going to copy the title and add it to the body as an H1 tag. Then simply in a paragraph tag, I will put a quick link. And let's put read. And for content, we'll add read the database. Quick look at this sees that it's not going to show much, but when we run the project, index.jsp will start as the welcome file, and there will be a hyperlink. When we click on it, it will send a read command to our server. Later, when we create the read servlet, we'll make sure that we set the URL mapping to read. One more thing to do to get set up, because this is a database application, we need to include a database driver. A convenient place to store the database driver within our project is under the webint folder in the lib folder. You want to do two things when you add a driver to your project. You want to make sure that the driver jar file is included as part of the project. This way if you move the project, maybe send it to your professor or post it to an online server, the driver file itself will move along with it. Second, we'll need to set the project to recognize the driver as a valid library for the project. First, let's right-click on the lib folder, which is under the webimp folder, which is a subfolder of the web content folder. We're going to select import. In this case, we're not importing an existing project, just a single file. So let's check file system and hit next. 
Now what we want to do is browse to the directory where the file is located. Hopefully you stored it somewhere on your system where you can find it. Browse. Mine is under Documents. I created a MySQL folder just to hold anything related to MySQL. I see that within MySQL folder I have a MySQL connector folder. This is where my driver is stored. So I'm going to select that as the directory. You notice after you select a directory, the directory shows up in the left pane. If you were to select it, all the files in that directory would be imported. The list of files within that directory are in the right pane of the window. And I simply want to import the file named MySQL Connector Java 5.1.29 bin.jar. The jar file for the current MySQL Connector to Java, also known as Connector J. Select that and click Finish. Looking at the Project Explorer window, if we expand the Lib folder, we see that MySQL Connector J has been added to the folder and the project. The last thing we need to do before we're ready to start coding is to make sure that our project recognizes this connector as one of its libraries. So right-click on the name of the project itself, Book DB Example, select Build Path from the list, and then Configure Build Path. Make sure that the Library tab is selected, where you see a list of the current libraries for this project. Now we're going to select and add as a library the jar file that we just imported into the project. So select Add Jars. We see a list of several things. We're interested in Book DB Example, Expand, Expand Web Content, Expand Web Inf, and Expand Lib. Now we have found the jar for which we want to add the library. Select the jar file and hit OK. We now see that that is added as a library. Select OK and then we will be ready to start building our book DB example project. For more information about the concepts that you learned in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.